I think he's doing it to leave his options open, Sivan. Look, this is a potentially complicated negotiation. And I... Obviously, there are going to be big political problems for Benjamin Netanyahu coming out in any way, in any way, supporting a Palestinian state at any point in time. It will potentially lead, I think, with, with, with a high degree of certainty to the breaking up of the current coalition and the need for some different kind of political constellation. But I think Netanyahu is leaving it open. You're right in one sense to deflect criticism from Secretary Blinken. We're seeing him again on screen and from Joe Biden. But I think also genuinely Netanyahu might want to leave his policy options open. Look, in a report I did on this last week, as I sketched it out, Israel, when the United States puts forward its proposed diplomatic package, has two options. Number one is to simply say no, right? That there are parts of this, at least as reported by the Washington Post last week, that are complete non-starters, evacuating settlements, setting up a Palestinian capital in East Jerusalem. Potentially, it wasn't stated, I don't think, explicitly in that piece, but giving up Israeli security control or influence over the West Bank, those are non-starters for Israel, I think, at this point, certainly for Netanyahu's government, I think for large parts of the Israeli public. So Israel could simply say no. The other option is to say yes with the understanding that the establishment of a Palestinian state would be set up based on conditions and caveats and benchmarks and milestones, right? A Palestinian state won't be set up tomorrow. No one's asking Israel to do that. It's obviously impractical. So it would only be set up after A, B, C, D, and E happen, and after A, B, C, D, and E conditions are met. So if Netanyahu plays this cleverly, he can get the normalization with Saudi Arabia, and as Anthony Blinken said, with large parts of the Arab world, at the front end and pocket that and have the promise for the Palestinian state be on the back end, subject to all of these conditions and all of these caveats. And if Israel negotiates it cleverly, Israel can hang on to those conditions and caveats to make sure the state doesn't come into fruition. And if by some chance the Palestinians actually meet those conditions and those caveats move away and Palestinians are able to meet the benchmarks and go through the milestones, well, maybe then the Israeli public would actually accept a Palestinian state. I don't know about Netanyahu's position personally, Personally, but I think the public here would welcome a Palestinian state if and only if the state was of a character that it would be have a character and a culture and a security culture and an education culture that would not negate our existence here as a Jewish state. And if that were to truly happen and the Palestinians were to truly meet the benchmarks, the state could come into addition on the, I think, quite reasonable assumption that the Palestinians won't meet those, make those milestones and meet those benchmarks. The state wouldn't come into fruition, but Netanyahu and Israel have already pocketed the normalization on the front end. If I were prime minister, I would move in that direction, and I think the politics ultimately would settle themselves.